Hey guys, welcome back. This is Storm and this is episode 117 of my single player Tivina world. Hope you guys are going awesomely well. So I'm starting off the day here doing a bit of fishing. Oh, watch out there, Squiddy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just time to come out and relax, enjoy the sun. I've been doing good at mining recently and sometimes you've got to take a break of, you know, doing all that mundane stuff sometimes. Getting out of the dark caves and come out and enjoy the sunshine. And uh, while I was over here doing my fishing, I noticed I've got this little island that's... Um, yeah, a little bit lackluster for this poor old sheep. This poor sheep has been on this island for years, literally years. And there's been no one really to talk to. I don't think the squid are talking to this guy. And uh, yeah, this little island needs a bit of a makeover, I think. I think it's about time we gave this sheep something to look forward to in his life. <laughs> rather than, uh, you know, just try and... In fact, I'm really surprised that he hasn't managed to eat both of these grass blocks <laughs> and uh, actually have no grass to eat. So, surprised that you've actually survived this long. But uh, because you have, let's give your island here a little bit of a makeover. Let's go for a slice of paradise, maybe. Okay, so what we're going to do to start off things is uh, probably put down a palm tree or two. So let's put a palm tree over here. It's been a while since I've had to <laughs> build one of these. But if you haven't seen one before, this is how I do them. I just use the oak fences and I come up a few blocks. So let's go a little bit higher. Don't probably want to go too high for this kind of area. But if we come up this kind of height, I think. Uh, let's go one more. <laughs> Something like that. Then what I like to do is put down some jungle wood. Then I put down cocoa beans on the sides. This kind of acts as the coconuts. A pretty simple design, really. Let's just jump over and put this one down. There we go. And then what I like to do is I like to put in a sea lantern on top. So this is just put some nice light effects at night time. And I'll put some green carpet over the top of that. Let's put that away. And now we just really go around with the jungle uh, leaves here to see what kind of shape we could make for the, the palms. So maybe we should start by having a 3x3 three three pattern and then probably what we could do is just put an extra one out on each of the sides in the middle. So something like this. Uh, yeah, go one there. And then what I like to do, let's see if I can get down here. Uh, can I place it? There we go. Perfect. Oh, it's getting night time. Nice. <laughs> So, yeah, I'll put down one like this, so it kind of makes it look like it's branching down. And then on the side here, I like to have one on an angle. So basically, I'll have one right about there, so something like that. And then I basically repeat this pattern around. So let's do this on this side as well. Pretty easy stuff. I think uh, adding palm trees like this is just a nice little effect you can have into the game. In fact, uh, yeah, leaf block just there. And then we need to come down one, so I need to come over, there we go, like this. And you already see it is night time and this whole area is lit up okay with the sea lantern. And because it's got, um, yeah, it's pretty well hidden by the leaves, I think uh, it blends in quite nicely. And from the ground you can't really tell that it's there. So I think that works out quite well. Let's put down this other leaf block, so there we go. And then I just got to do one more over here. Right here. There we go. And you can always change up these patterns so it's not the same every time, just to give it a unique kind of look to each palm tree, which I've done on my main island a little bit. But uh, yeah, so something like this is pretty much all I have to do. So let's get rid of this dirt. Let's jump on over. And let's do it from up here. Might be easier. There we go. <laughs> and then we're just going to get down from here somehow. Uh, let's just do this. There we go. Perfect. Okay, you ready for it, sheep? I think I'm close. Uh, and what do you think? Here you go, here's your slice of paradise. So, pretty simple stuff. Let's see if we can offload this sheep here somewhere. Uh, about there. Okay, let's see if you can enjoy and ride onto your new home. Uh-oh. Uh, that's not how I wanted you to start your new journey on this area, but hopefully you can forgive me. Uh-oh, he's already trying to run away. Come on, this I built this place for you. <laughs> So let's see if I can get you back onto this island, so you can at least enjoy it for a little bit. Ah, much easier with the lead. I should have done that to start with. <laughs> so what do you think, sheep? This is your new area. Hopefully you enjoy it. We've got ourselves a couple of palm trees. I made this one slightly different to the one we built, uh, just with a different look for the palms. And I think that looks nice. And we've got this little baby kind of palm tree that's growing. We've got ourselves a trough or a cauldron here for this sheep as well to enjoy some natural... Uh oh, that's not going to fill up, is it? Ah, that's fine. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I, I can always fill it up with a bucket. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this area is pretty simple stuff. Hail bower, some cake, bit of natural kind of looking lake here in the middle. 
nothing too fancy. It's only a small area, so you can't do too much. And uh, hopefully it looks okay. In fact, let's check it out from a bit of a distance ourselves. Let's cruise out here, then turn around, check it out. Yeah, I think that looks okay. It's a nice little slice of paradise, I think. It kind of complements, I think, our main island look over here as well. We've got these palms along the beach area. Be nice if I can increase my render distance at some point where you can see all this in its glory. But uh, yeah, I think for now, that looks okay. In fact, I can't even see this island from over here. There we go. Hopefully um, that looks okay though. So in the last episode we had worked in the end and there were some great suggestions and comments on that video. Uh, you guys certainly liked the oasis that I created in the end and I think it came out pretty nice as well. So I'm just going to head back over into the end and I wanted to check out an area to build some kind of structure. There was a good, su a good suggestion really to build some kind of storage shelter or some kind of structure where we could uh, put all the, the good stuff that we uh, either store over there or we collect from doing the, the collection of the, the chorus fruit. And um, I think it's a great idea to build some kind of structure. And uh, there was a good point in there about making it a little bit like having an end flare to it or having some kind of theme based around the end with the structure. So not building like a regular kind of structure, but just uh, something that's had a little bit more of an end feel to it. So I think that's a really good idea. So what I'm thinking of doing is building something right over here. Is having some kind of structure that could um, yeah, be good to, to store. Maybe have a couple of chests in here where we could store a couple of good things here. And um, yeah, maybe when we cut down all these uh, chorus trees that we can get all the chorus fruit and store it in there. You know, all those kind of things. So what we could do is we could just come on down and... Whoa, I left that trapdoor open. So what I'm going to do is just see, do we have enough supplies over here to really do any creative work? Not... Um, what on earth is that? <laughs> uh, okay. I think we should go check that out. What on earth was that? Okay, so let's see what... Oh my goodness. <laughs> ah, so what do you think of that transition? So we have ourselves a merchant ship. This is my interpretation of what a merchant ship could look like. I've been busy working on a few things over here, and this is one of them. So what do you think? This is my interpretation of some kind of place where we could store some chorus fruit. Oh, I picked up a flower. So that means, damn it, another Enderman. <laughs> okay, so I have to replace that dirt. Note to self, replace that dirt. In the meantime, they can go over there. So yeah, this L area, I needed somewhere to store some things. And this is what I thought could be pretty interesting to pull up next door and have some kind of merchant ship. So I originally started off basing this same design from the, the normal ships that you have in the end cities. And uh, then from there, I really started to make some changes to try and make it uh, stand out a little bit different. Didn't want to just have exactly the same ship design. So let's just jump up here. Whoa, I totally messed it up. Oh, <laughs> by the way, I did make another floating end island thing over here for the Oasis. More on that in a minute. Hey, there's my grass block. That was very nice to leave it there. Might as well grab that while we're here. So the Enderman's not so bad after all. Let's put that back and let's get that flower. It's like it never went away, like that. <laughs> so let's see if we can make this jump without staring at that Enderman. Uh-oh. Okay, you can tell I probably made this a little bit too far away for normal jumping. I'm sure it's just, it's fine. It's just a little bit of FPS lag that I have in my world. That's what I'm going to blame it on anyway. So it's not that I'm bad at jumping, it's just my game. I swear, guys. <laughs> so what do you think? This is my interpretation. It is different, and this is why we have the emeralds at the start of the episode. I needed some emeralds. This is a traveling merchant ship and this is the cargo that this particular ship has on it right now. A bit of emeralds and uh, the ores as well. I think that looks nice. I really like the color contrast between the purple and the green. I think that looks pretty cool. And I was hoping we could get uh, some different color combinations for slabs as well that could go with the purple, but I think the the nether rack, um, or not the nether rack, but the other Nether stone, whatever these, whatever these slabs are called. Uh, these turned out probably the, the closest match that I could come up with. That looked okay. And uh, let's take a look up here. This is like the captain quarters. We can cruise on here, do some navigation, all that kind of stuff. So that's pretty easy, pretty simple stuff. I really like it. And then downstairs. So this is where I deviate a little bit more from the normal end uh, ships you have as well. So I made it come around like this to get down to the lower level. So we've got some storage here, we can do some furnace work as well. And then we've got this kind of like mess hall kind of thing. This is where you can come down and relax, take a drink at the end of the day. And we can also fire off the turrets if we need to. So I'll put in here some fire charges, so that's pretty cool, something different. 
And then we've got this door. This is the, the door that will lead us into the cargo hold. But there is no button. There is no way to get in through a conventional means, I guess. There's, yes, there's a door, but there's no way to easily open it. So what I've done is I've hidden a way to get in. And let's see if we can just get down here. So I've got this extra storage out the back here. This is just where I need to put some stuff in here. But then I've got this chest right here. This is a trap chest that activates some redstone and then this door will open up. So that's a, I felt that was a pretty cool way to come into this room, kind of conceal the way that you can come in. And then to get out, you've just got the button to get out. So that's pretty cool. So this is what the cargo area looks like. You've got the turrets in here as well that you can defend the ship with. And we've got the emeralds and the ore in here. So that's pretty cool. And I've also got in here a armor stand with some armor that we got from one of the end cities. Maybe I should switch that out with diamond armor at some point, but that's okay. And I also put in here an ender chest, just in case you needed it for something. So what do you think? This is a little bit different, a little bit out there. I'm not sure if this is what you were thinking for having some kind of end flare or end based themed structure for storing things. But I really like it. I think it came out very, very nice. And I really like the way the green contrasts. It's pretty cool. And down here, this is a nice area as well. This is where I just wanted something else besides this area here and I uh, originally looked around up here I was originally going to build it out there but I thought that was too far away and then there was this little island down here kind of like by itself so I thought hey that's perfect for the kind of shape and size for building one of these little floating oasis things so I think that's pretty cool as well and I've integrated some of the dirt into the side so it kind of looks like it's splintered in amongst the end stone so I think that's pretty cool look as well so you'll have to know and let me know what you think pretty happy the way it turned out let's come up here if I can whoop totally messed that up <laughs> let's check it out from up here and you guys can see what this ship looks like pulled up next to the oasis and here you go I think it looks pretty cool it looks a lot bigger from up here than it does when you're down on the ground but yeah I'm really happy the way it turned out I think it was a nice nice twist to what we could have for a storage kind of structure So after building that ship in the end, I do have an idea for our main island over here. And that is to work over on this side of the island. And I think it would be pretty cool to put a sailing ship or something over here along the ocean or where it joins up to the main island here. And um, this area of the island hasn't been worked on forever. <laughs> I can't even remember the last time I've come over here. So it needs a bit of TLC and it needs something over here. I think it's a bit dull otherwise. So we've got this little bridge that we created years ago and haven't really used it and it's pretty terrible. You look how basic it looks. It's um, pretty primitive. And uh, I think this whole area could do with a bit of a makeover. So if we just take a step back and look up from up here maybe, check it out. So this is the island and this is a view that you don't typically get. And what I think we could do is maybe put in like a little sailing ship. So we've got the main sailing ship just down this way. So it's just down there, that's our main wharf area. Probably get rid of this bridge or do something different with that bridge. So at least the sailing ship can get out. But I want to build maybe a small little sailing ship. So that could be pretty interesting. Then redo the dock here and, I don't know, maybe put a few farms along the water here. I think we've got a few ideas uh, that we could play with here. So first of all, I might uh, think about where we're going to put this little ship. I did bring over some wool blocks. Uh, wool. <laughs> well, I did bring over some wool, but I also brought over just a variety of wood blocks because I'm just going to make this out of wood. And I might make it off the, the side of this <laughs> of this sad looking, um, I don't know what we'll even call this thing. It's not, it's not really a jetty or anything. I don't know what it is, but it's, um, it certainly needs to be replaced. But I think we could use this as a starting point. If I just knock a few things out here to give us some room to work with. So let's just get rid of these. And get rid of that. There we go. Alrighty, so how high off the ground should this sailing ship it should be and then how far out should it go? Because I want this to be pretty small. So maybe even if we made it so... Yeah, let's get rid of these. Then we'll get rid of these as well. Because I don't want to go... <laughs> because I've only got so much room to work with here and I don't want to damage the area too much. I don't want to make it look too artificial. So I will have to tidy up this area to make it look more natural. But first of all, to get started, what I will do, if this can be the back of the sailing ship down this end, I do have an idea in mind that I want to give a go. So first of all, maybe we should build out a couple of blocks. So let's say about here somewhere. In fact, where I'm standing here could be the side of the ship. So 
that could be interesting. So we could walk in right about here somewhere. So this is the, the height of the ship. That means we could probably do something like this. And then just to mark out the boundaries, let's use which which block should we use? Maybe Dark Oak. <laughs> Why not? I've got a few a few varieties here, so let's experiment with a few different designs. So this could be where you walk on to the ship. And let's go out this way. So why not just go straight in with... Should we go... Yeah, why not? Let's use some spruce stairs. See how this... Oops. Uh, actually, how do I want this to work? Maybe I should have the stairs on the layer below this. Yeah, maybe that will look better. So if I got rid of that and put down a couple of these. So how wide should we make this? Or how long I should make it? I guess this is the, the length of the ship here. We could just try a few blocks here and see what this looks like. Can I jump up there? I totally can't. <laughs> Alright, I have to get rid of these as well, so I can at least navigate around this area. That poor dispenser's been there forever as well, unused. So maybe, yeah, if we did something like that and make it this kind of length. I'm going for a really small ship here, it's not going to be very big at all. Maybe if we came in a little bit, so we make a block here. I'm going to build this pretty quickly and then we can always change it as we go. So if I have two, maybe you have one more. So we have, this is like where it comes in a little bit more. And this is where it can go up to a point. So I might have to terraform this a little bit to make this <laughs> look like it's got enough room to at least navigate a little bit around this area. In fact, let's take a look from the side and let's see what the dimensions look like. Yeah, that's not too bad. Don't mind that. And then if this is going to be the middle that means I put a block down here then another block down here so maybe that could go there and this is where it could go off let's try to do something like this whoops that stair was definitely on the wrong direction <laughs> whoops that's not how you get rid of that block either something like that so that could be half the ship right there what do we think if I get rid of this so you can see it Yeah, something like that. Get rid of some of these blocks, so you can see. I can navigate. Yeah, I think so. So what I'll do is I'll do the other side, and then we'll start adding in some details. So I've repeated the same pattern on the other side here, and now you can get a bit of a feel for how big this ship is going to be. It's not going to be that big. And what I was thinking we could do is, where we've got these dark oak wood, if we were to put dark oak uh, stairs underneath that might help that blend in a bit better so I wanted to give that a go so if we replace one of these whoops not there <laughs> get rid of that yeah I think that looks better certainly better contrast than just having spruce underneath it I think so we'll do the same here then we'll do the same on this side maybe now for the back of the ship here what I think we could do is we have uh, let's just do this for now let's have some stairs at the back here so something like this. In fact, I need, while I'm here, I might as well replace this block. And it's always good to have a, have a bit of variety, I think, with the wood that you build with. Particularly on a small ship like this, rather than just having one particular wood colour, I think having a mixture of wood blocks here could add a bit of uh, texture to it. So we don't have a whole lot of room <laughs> to add a whole lot of detail, so I think going like this uh, may do that. Okay, what we could also do is replace this one front. Whoops, not there. This is the worst part about building on uh, water like this. I've never had much luck building out of a boat either. I've seen some people who can sit in a boat and build, particularly like a ship or something like that, but not me. Definitely not good for, my, good for how I build. Okay, so something like that. And I'll obviously I'll remove that slab at some point. Let's get out of the water for a second. Yeah, I need to put something behind this block because you can see the open space. But besides that, we come towards the back here then think about what we are going to do so maybe we could put down a dark oak uh, wood block at the back here as well so maybe you have one here one there and then we just got to do the flooring so for now what I could do is how should we do this maybe we just come down like um, got spruce yeah let's go with spruce so maybe underneath this there that there we go it's a shame that the water is going to go like that underneath but I think that's 
got to look like the boat is actually in the water, so I think this is pretty much the only option we have to, to, to work with for now. Let's put these down. Really bad at placing blocks right now. But let's do this. So I'm just going to fill in the bottom with some spruce slabs. So now we've got a floor on this ship. So we've got these areas exposed where we've got this stair here. So what I'll do is I'll just put in full block. And I'm not even probably going to need this whole area here. Maybe I'll just... Uh, I don't know. What should we put there? Maybe for now we'll just put down... Yeah, why not? Let's just put these blocks here. Something like that. Now this whole area here, I could leave it like this, or maybe I could even put down, like, like a, it looks like it's got some floorboards or something like this. So if I did this on top, this could look interesting. You can see the ground underneath. And then for here, maybe we make this solid, so make it look like there's a beam here. Maybe that comes across like that. And maybe we could fill in an area like this. And do we have any spruce wood? We do. Now that can just go there like this. Now you can start to see this ship come together. Now for the sides, what I thought we could do is also use some trapdoors. Something like this. And this could look nice along here as well. You should be able to still walk around quite nicely. Even though it's a small size ship, you should still be able to get around. So let's give that a go. I think uh, that looks okay. Now we should probably have somewhere to stand at the back here and maybe having the mask. We have to put in the mask here somewhere. Mask could probably be around here. This might be a good spot for it. But for the first of all, what I thought we should do, got some oak fences here. So let's just, whoops, <laughs> give me my food back. So what we could do is try and build in some kind of canopy thing for now. Um, not sure how high we should go here, but maybe we go up two blocks for now. This is going to give us some protection from the sun. And maybe if we had some cargo at the back here, this could also cover up the cargo. So that could be pretty interesting something like that maybe and then what do we have here we have dark oak do i have any got some spruce let's use some of this spruce wood let's go up here let's see if we can build a nice looking canopy over the top so let's make it slope up let's be the one in the middle and then we'll have this come down something like that all right so let's get rid of some of these excess blocks and that probably means I, I think I can get rid of that one then, right? Yeah, I can. <laughs> Although I need that so I can place it on the other side. Damn it. All right, so something like this. There we go. If you like watching me fail and learn as we go here, I'm probably not the best at this. But sometimes I try. <laughs> um, so yeah, maybe a canopy like this. Do I have enough? I think we've got enough. Then a couple more. There we go. That could provide a bit of cover. Now for this main section, maybe we... What do we use? Dark oak? Make this blend in. Or maybe we should just use actual wood blocks. Yeah, or planks. Maybe we should use planks. So what do we use this for the mask? Make this go up. In fact... Hmm. Is this where we want this? Maybe. Let's put it up here. It just means that we can't get up. Maybe we should have... A way to get up here with some ladders or something that can go on either side of this mask and this could go up not sure how high we should go but maybe something like this let's uh let's actually sleep <laughs> before um yeah <laughs> i think it looks okay kind of looks like a tugboat at the moment but uh let's just sleep for a quick second now that we've got some sunshine on the case here what we could probably do is put up some ladders here so this could be our way to get up towards the top of the mask let's just go up like this Maybe we go a little bit higher. Whoops, if I can stand up here. Here we go. At this height, maybe? Hard to know. I think once we put on the actual sail, we'll um, make a better judgment call on how tall this thing should be. So maybe, yeah, maybe that's okay. Hopefully this is starting to come together. Now for the sail, what we could do is put down some kind of support. How high should this be? Maybe we try at the same height. Is that going to connect if I do that? It is. Yeah, I don't know if I like that. Maybe we should go up more, one more block. Because basically I want to have some kind of support at the base of the sail, and then we'll have some support at the top of the sail. I'll use something similar to my other sailing ship as well, my pirate ship. If we did something like that, now I'm just going to use light grey wool. For now, I can always change this out for something else in the future. So maybe that kind of width. Then 
this is where the fun part starts, so you gotta kinda go up with this thing, so maybe if we went up something like this, made this come across, jump up here, maybe I should even make this wider maybe? I don't know, maybe we'll try, <laughs> try this kind of height, let's get rid of that. There we go, get rid of that block. I'm going to run out of wool, aren't I? <laughs> uh, it's always the thing when you build something like this that you think, ah, do I have enough? And I'm sure I don't. And uh, I'm just going to make this look like it kind of bends out with the wind. It's always a tough call to make when you're building a stationary uh, ship like this, but yeah, maybe we just give this a go. So yeah, maybe we go too high. Not sure how high we should go here. Then basically I need to make the sail come back in. In fact, this is where I've got to go a little bit wider, make it match the bottom one as well. We might have enough wool here, we'll, s we'll just have to wait and see. So this height, to make this double the same. And this is where we've got to make it join up. So we come in one more block. Don't tell me I've got enough wool. Certainly do, <laughs> look at that, perfect. Couldn't have planted any better, so something like that. Now we just need the support beams up the top here. In fact, I got this mask pretty well right, look at that. There we go, that can connect up to the top here, so it's kind of holding on to the top of the sail. And wouldn't that be nicer if that was a little bit wider maybe? I don't know. I'll have to check it out from a distance. Let's see what it looks like from over here. Whoa, that looks ugly. What did I get wrong here? Is that not centered? Something doesn't look right. <laughs> yeah, so I've got an extra block over there, so probably... Yeah, let me go and play with this sail for a little bit. So I've made some adjustments to this sail, and maybe... Yeah, maybe this shouldn't be as high. Maybe as high as that. And let's see what this looks like now. Let's see if this is any better. Uh, I think it's better. I think it'll look better if I blended in some different wool blocks as well. Maybe I could mix, because this is light, um, I think this is light grey, so if I'm mixing grey, maybe light grey, having those two tones together could be interesting. But uh, let's see from the bottom here, that looks okay, kind of looks like it is in the water, that's the main thing. And I uh, didn't want to make it look like it was just floating. And there it is from the side profile, I think that looks okay. And from the back it kind of looks a little strange, let's get rid of these blocks. And that looks okay, looks like there's good room in here. I kind of need somewhere to steer, and we need some cargo as well. First of all, maybe we should put something at the back here to make it look a little bit more elevated at the back. Something like that looks nice, I think. And let's grab some supplies down from our actual <laughs> wharf area. This is where we've got one of our storage areas. Let's just cruise on this way. This whole area here is a bit of a jungle. I'll probably need to clean it up at some stage and do some nice gardens in here or something like that. But for now, this is going to have to do. Let's uh, cruise on past this other sailing ship and come down here. That other ship took a long time to build, actually. Um, <laughs> but uh, this one, not so much. What am I after? I'm going to get... Let's grab an anvil. This is basically my decoration type chest. And let's get some... Do I have... It? Oh, I do have some trap chests. Let's just grab... Let's grab six, not sure how many I need. And let's just grab half these. This could be some kind of decoration block that we have inside the sailing ship. So for now, let's just give this a go. And hopefully this basically turns this thing from a boat that's just floating onto the ocean into a bit of a ship. Sometimes just the small couple little details, like adding a few chests or adding in basically somewhere where you can command the ship, like a, in this case, I'm gonna use an anvil. I think this is the, the best thing that we've got in the game to kind of uh, act as where you steer the ship but maybe you guys have a better way and this is what I like to do so I'll probably have that right here that looks like good enough I think then you can turn around adjust the sails climb up adjust the masks if you need to let's grab that probably have to get some lighting in here at some point got to replace this block as well but what we could do is just put down some chests so maybe we have let's put a trap chest in the more oh Oh, that's going to be freaky, isn't it? <laughs> oh, well, we could leave it like that for now. And let's just put down a combination of chests. And then we could do this as well. Like that. <laughs> and there we go. That's pretty much it. And that kind of acts as... This is the cargo we've got at the back. 
Maybe this ship is just docked in, it's come around, and now it's offloading some goods. I think that looks okay. I kind of wish there was something a little bit more on the back of this sail, but it's pretty limited what you could do. And maybe this whole ship could have looked a little bit nice if it was moved back a little bit further. But then again, I think we could just terraform this area a little bit and make it look that just a little bit nicer. And I'll probably um, bring the water all the way up to this edge of uh, the sand just here to give it look like it's got a bit more room to manoeuvre. And I think this will make it look a little bit better if I had a dark oak slab up the front. <laughs> there we go. And I also put down a sea lantern block here for a bit of lighting and a sneaky little chest in the floorboards up the front here, just in case we want to store something important. And that's pretty much it. I think we are good to go now. Let's check it out again. I did mix in some of the dark grey uh, carpet, or not carpet, <laughs> wool box into the sail. Maybe that looks a little bit better, you'll have to let me know. And also put one of these uh, end rods at the top there to light this thing up at night. I think that looks pretty good. So I think we are pretty much done now. This was a very fast, quick little build. A quick build for me anyway, and hopefully it uh, turned out alright and you guys like it. Anyway, I'm going to call the episode there. Thank you for watching. Stay awesome, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Cheers.